This is now our fourth video on proof by induction. If you're new to the topic, please do check out video one as it's got some key learning points in. In this question, it says given that u sub n plus one is equal to five u sub n minus eight with u sub one equal to three, prove by induction that u sub n is equal to five to the power of n minus one plus two. We can use proof by induction to show that a general statement is true for a recurrence relation. So in this particular question, the general statement here is u sub n is equal to 5 to the power of n minus 1 plus 2. And the recurrence relation is u sub n plus 1 is equal to 5 u sub n minus 8. We're going to start off with the basis case. And we set this up slightly different to the ones that we've done in previous videos. The way I like to do it here is to have the general statement. So if we write now the general statement, what we've got here is u sub n is equal to 5 to the power of n minus 1 plus 2. I now like to draw a line. You certainly don't have to, but it might help with your working. What we're going to have the other side of the line is the recurrence relation. So we'll have a recurrence relation, and that's given as u sub n plus 1 is equal to 5 u sub n minus 8, and we're told the first term, u sub 1, is equal to 3. What we do is start off with n is equal to 1 in the general statement. So when n is equal to 1, we will have u sub 1 by simply subbing in n is equal to 1, and we'll have now 5 to the power of 1 minus 1, which will be 5 to the power 0 plus 2. So from this, we can see the first term, u sub 1, this is 1, 1 plus 2 is going to give us 3. We now take n equal to 2. Subbing this into the general statement, we're going to have now u sub 2 is going to be 5 to the power of 1 plus 2, which gives us now u sub 2. 5 plus 2 is going to give me 7. Now, if we consider on the right-hand side with the recurrence relation, when we have n is equal to 1, that will give us now u sub 1 plus 1, which is 2. That will give me now 5 lots of u sub 1 u sub 1 is 3, so we can sub that in. We subtract away the 8, which gives us now u sub 2 is 15 minus 8, which is 7. So we can see the first two terms in the recurrence relation are the same as the first two terms in the general statement. So we can now state shown true for n equals 1 and n is equal to 2. So all we've done is shown now the first term is the same and the second term using the general statement for the recurrence relation. So what we're going to do now is our assumption. So step two is the assumption. As before, the step two doesn't change. We now say we've shown true. So we've shown true for n equals 1 and n is equal to 2. We now assume, and assume is the key word, Assume true for n is equal to k. Remember, k is a positive integer such that, and we can write this here, such that now, and we're simply going to sub this now into a general statement, u sub k will be equal to 5 to the power of k minus 1 plus 2. So that's our assumption. We've shown it's true for n is equal to 1. We've shown it's true for n is equal to 2. We now assume that these two things are equal when n is equal to k, such that the general statement u sub k is equal to 5 to the power of k minus 1 plus 2. We now come in with the inductive step. So if we now consider, if this is true for n is equal to k, it will be true for the next positive integer value, k plus 1. So we can write, if true for n is equal to k, we can say then true for n is equal to k plus 1. So at this stage now, it's true for the next one in the sequence. So we can sub it in here and we can say then u sub k plus 1, the next term in the sequence, will be 5 u sub k minus 8. So what we're doing now is go into the recurrence relation. We've got now u sub k plus 1 is 5 lots of u sub k minus 8. That is the next term in the sequence. What we want to do here is show that this turns out to be the general statement when n is equal to k plus 1. 
So at this stage, what we can now do is state, and just moving this on, we can say u sub k plus 1 will be 5 lots of u sub k. Now u sub k is just here. So this is going straight in. So we'll have 5 to the power of k minus 1 plus the 2, and then we've got the minus 8. So if we consider what we've done here, all I've done is say that the next, uh, the, next, um, uh, the next term in the sequence, u sub k plus 1, is simply going to be 5 lots of u sub k minus 8. So if we just go on from here, what we can see now, using the rules of indices, this is 5 to the first. What we're going to have here is 5 to the first multiplied by 5 to the power of k minus 1, which is going to give us u sub k plus 1 will give us now 5 to the power of k. Then we're going to have plus 10 minus 8, so plus 10 minus 8. So just tidy that up now. What we're going to have is u sub k plus 1 is equal to 5 to the power of k. We've got now 10 minus 8, which is going to be plus 2. Therefore, if we consider now, this is simply now the general statement when n is equal to k plus 1. Therefore, shown true for general statement. So general statement. OK, let's just scribble this out. General statement when n is equal to k plus 1. So this is just the general statement. That's that with k plus 1. We now come to our conclusion. So all we're going to do is put in our conclusion just here. So step four is our conclusion. And we can state now if, and we'll write this out, if true for n is equal to k, then true for n is equal to k plus 1 in u sub n, the general statement. So let's just jot this down. The general statement and we can now write so that's general statement we've shown true for n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 therefore we can say now true for all n so for all n with n greater or equal to 1 remember n is a positive integer by mathematical induction so let's just scribble that out. Mathematical, mathematical induction. There we go. Uh, I'll pretend that's spelled correctly. And that's done. So all we've done now is shown that this is the general statement when n is equal to k plus 1. So let's quickly go through what we've done. What we want to do is show that this general statement is now true for the recurrence relation. We've shown it with n is equal to 1, we've shown it with n is equal to 2. We assume it's true for n is equal to k, where k is a positive integer, such a general statement is u sub k is given as 5 to the power of k minus 1 plus 2. So if it's true for n is equal to k, it's true for the next integer. So the next term in the sequence can be given by the recurrence relation. We write that out and then simply recognise now that we've got 5 lots of u sub k. We've already found u sub k. We sub that into our recurrence relation. We rearrange and show that it is the general statement when n is equal to k plus 1. We then make the conclusion, if it's true for n is equal to k, then it's true for n is equal to k plus 1 in use of n, the general statement. We've shown it's true for n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2. Therefore, it's true for all n greater or equal to 1, where n is a positive integer by mathematical induction. So a bit of a mouthful, but hopefully that's given you some idea on how you can tackle these problems when we need to show that the general statement is true for the recurrence relation.